Good afternoon from me and my unnamed project car and spider. I have some new headlights for my project car today. I've opened these already to make sure that they were the same. They each came with the cool little octane lighting sticker. This whole kit was $200 on octanelighting.com. It did not come like this. This was me putting them back in the box poorly. So Octane Lighting does not get a knock for that. This kit came with LED headlights. Uh, also came in the headlight housings themselves. Um, came more halogen light bulbs, which is going to be the same for this car right here. So now I have all these light bulbs for replacements, which is pretty cool. Small Parker didn't realize I was getting. And so these are five and three quarter inch rounds. Um, got these because they have a metal back and they're glass, so they won't fade with time. You know, with the sun ruins the plastic. So I'm pretty excited about that. They also came with a little adapter. Because I bought all four because this car has four headlights. The outside two are low and high beam and the inside two are only high beam. So the high beam one only has two prongs, so you plug this into your uh, wiring harness. Oh, excuse me, wiring harness and then your headlight bulb. So plug in like this, and then this goes to your wiring harness. Otherwise the wiring harness just goes straight to this bulb. Oh, and these grommets only work with the regular halogen bulbs. I will not be using that. Thus, I got these headlights that came with it for this $200. These are all four the same, I'll just open one for you. Pretty standard stuff. I got LED here. Got three LEDs, three sided deal, triangle shape, and three prongs as you can see. Then it came with this little adapter piece. Oops. So how that bulb comes out like this, you can squeeze these two pins together. They lift up and out. This bulb will come out. Make sure to not touch the glass with your fingers. The oil on your skin will ruin this bulb over time. So, this plastic piece sits in here like this. It goes in first. And then you can put your piece down, or your uh, retaining clips in. And then this bulb now screws into that. I want to make sure I get this even here. There. So when I'm done, I have the, one of these triangle sides is wider than the other. I'm putting that down. And the rubber grommet does not fit over this in any way, shape, or form. I have tried. I tried putting it on first and putting the bulb through it. It just bunched up the seal that is here. So this is how it's going to be. So here we have it. It's pretty simple. This just plugs into the factory harness. And I'm going to turn this on just to show you what it looks like. So, as you can tell, just compared to the other light that's yellow, this one is actually very bright. My biggest concern with these when I bought them was I was concerned a lot of times LEDs will just scatter light and not actually make a focused beam and those are the best kind of lights you want. A focus beam down the road where you're seeing and then a the light kind of filters in the rest. When it's just perfectly scattered light it just gets slowly dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer as it goes out along the road. And I absolutely can't stand those. I have a hard time seeing it not the way it is. Those are the worst. So I was happy when I plugged this in. This has a very nice focused beam. And having all four of these on with the high beam, I am stoked. This one right here is 18 watts, and the high beam is uh, 24 watts. So I'll go ahead and turn the high beam on here. And as you can see, the inside lights are on with the high beams. That one is blown out. That's why I got onto this. So you can see the 24 watt one has an even bigger beam and it's even brighter yet. The next thing is I did some nerd math. These old cars do not have relays to run the headlights. All four headlights are going through the headlight switch. Their power is all coming through the headlight switch. So when you have all four of them on, that is 60 watts each. Add those all together, 60 plus four, uh, 240 watts I believe. You divide that by the voltage they're running at, in this case 12. That gives you 20 amps. That's how you do voltage, watts, and amps. So you have 20 amps going through that switch. This, on the other hand, 24 watts on the high beam as opposed to 60. 
24 plus 4 is 96, I think. You divide that by 12 and you get 8 amps. So I am having less than half of the amps going through that switch. Because I did have it burn out once. And what it would do, it would over overload the breaker inside the switch where the lights would flicker on and off and all this other fun stuff. And when it's pitch black at nighttime, that is just a downright safety concern. So this should help that from ever happening ever again. And you can see here with the high beam on, I can shine this right on it and you can't even see the other beam anymore. It just puts it to shame. So to change these, you remove this chrome trim piece from the headlight bucket. And first I'm going to unplug these. And it looks like I should be able to get these out without taking this uh, trim off. There you go, once you remove these three screws, this trim pops out along with the headlight assembly. You can see the high beam has two prongs, the single filament housing. And then this part here is called the headlight bucket. All four of the, of the LEDs that I got have three prongs, but they came with uh, two adapters. So three prong to a two prong. So once again, this these housings have three tabs here, here, and here, and these are for alignment purposes. And there is a top and a bottom. You'll see that on the glass, this top right there. Feed this wire through. There. And see how I can't twist it back and forth? Those are the grooves for the housing that it's sitting in. I'm going to go around the headlight evenly, making sure I get the screw snug but not too tight. I don't want to break this steel ring. And has it mounted securely. Now, I will take my, here's the high beam socket. It's got two prongs. And the LED has three. So I plug my three prong into the three prong of my adapter. And then I'm going to do a quick little experiment to see if this works both ways. I'm guessing it won't because it's LED. But let's find out. Okay, so that one works. I'm going to flip this plug around 180 and see if it still comes on. And it does. So there is some uh, reverse polarity magic happening in there that lets you plug this in both ways. Because LED stands for light emitting diode and diodes only let electricity go through one direction. So somebody did some magic here. And this headlight is unplugged right now. But I'm going to go ahead and change these other three, and I will see you back on the road. This is my before, this is high beams, this is low beams. The phone only exaggerates a little bit of how bad it is. This one is after LED installation, high beams. beams, high beams. The camera doesn't do it justice. This is immensely better. I wasn't super happy with the halogens in my Thunderbird, but the LEDs in this car, absolute win. I can see way further down the road than the camera's letting on. So I'm pretty happy with these. If you liked the video, if this helped you out in any way, feel free to like and subscribe.